One, two, three, four, five, five. Beautiful, colorful kitten. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another session of Rhyme Time with Miss Nucha. I'm Miss Nucha from the Winfield Public Library, and everybody knows my dog, Coco. She knew it was story time today. She ran away. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? How are all my friends doing today? I hope you're doing fine and enjoying this beautiful, cool weather. I want to give a very, very special shout out to Grayson and to Mike, Michael S. Hi, and I want to say hello to all my other friends. Emma and Mikey and Chow Pan and Enzo and Elizabeth, Josie and Leo, Lucy Brody and Penny, Eleanor and Henry, uh, who else? Uh, Frankie and Lila, Emily and Andrew, Constantine, Adelaide and Eloise, Carter, Cooper and Camden, and last but not least, my friend Eliana. I have not forgotten you. I miss you so, so, so much. And I think about you every day. And I bet the next time we see each other, you're going to be a couple of inches taller. Especially if you eat your veggies. Well, today in Rhyme Time, we're going to talk about anything with the letter C. Do you know what starts with the letter C? Chicken! And cat! And cow. Do you remember cow? Ooh. And last but not least on my list is caterpillar. Let's sing a song. Do you remember the song we used to sing at the library? When the chickens wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When the chickens wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Do you remember? And that is what they say. Let's put the chicken down. When the cats wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When the cats wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Do you remember? Meow! Meow! And that is what they say. Let's do one more. Everybody's favorite. Do you know what this is and what sound it makes? It starts with the letter C. C, cow. When the cows wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When the cows wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Does anybody remember? And that is what they say. Wasn't that fun? Look around the house and see what else starts with C. Look here. This is the letter C. What do you see there? A cake with candles. Cake and candles. Candles start with C. And look there. Everybody's favorite. A cupcake. Chocolate starts with C. Cupcake starts with the C. We're going to have fun now, but I've got to put Coco down. We're going to start on our flannel board stories. Okay, I'm going to put you down. Now you're sad. Oh. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny, very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. 
but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. One, two, three. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, four. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate a piece of chocolate cake. He ate an ice cream cone. He ate one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one slice of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a tummy ache. The next day was Sunday again. And the caterpillar ate through a very nice leaf. After that, he felt better and he wasn't hungry anymore. Instead, he was a great big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon all around himself. And he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and he pushed his way out. And he became a beautiful butterfly. Look at the beautiful, beautiful colors orange and purple and yellow. Look how happy he is. Now he's a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. And what do butterflies do? They fly and they look so pretty outside. The end. I have a very special treat for you. It's a flannel board poem and the title is Colorful Kittens. Listen for the rhyming words. I have a little gray cat and his name is Mike. I wonder why he sleeps all day and wants to play all night. I have a little orange cat and her name is Pam. I think she's especially sweet because she's the color of marmalade jam. I have a little black cat. And his name is Jack. He always purrs his little song when he sits upon my lap. I have a little white cat. And her name is Flo. She loves to lick her paws until they're white as snow. I have a little calico. And her name is Pat. She's black and white and orange and brown, my little rainbow cat. One, two, three, four, five, 
five beautiful, colorful kittens. The end. This next flannel board story is called The Proud White Cat, a Russian folktale. There was once a very large white cat. This cat was truly beautiful. One of the most beautiful cats ever seen. This cat was so proud that he thought he was far too beautiful to marry an ordinary cat. No, indeed. He vowed he would marry the very best thing in the whole wide world, whatever, whoever that might be. So one day he set off to find the very best thing in the whole wide world. The white cat walked all day and into the night when he chanced to look up in the sky to see the moon. There's the moon. The moon was shining brightly and its light was so soft and beautiful. The cat called out to the moon. Moon, wake up! I want to marry you! The moon answered, marry me? Now why would a cat want to marry the moon? The cat said, because you are surely the very best thing in the whole wide world. Nothing could dim your brightness. Oh, you are mistaken. The sun is brighter than I am, replied the sun, the moon. The cat put his nose up in the air and set off in search of the sun without another word to the moon. Next morning, when the sun rose in the sky, the cat called out to him, Son, I want to marry you. The sun answered, Marry me? Now why would a cat want to marry the sun? The cat said, Because you are surely the very best thing in the whole wide world. Nothing could dim your brightness. You are mistaken, replied the sun. Cloud can dim my brightness. The cat again put his nose in the air and set off in search of cloud with other, without another word to sun. Just then, a cloud drifted by. Cat called out, Cloud, I want to marry you. The cloud answered, Marry me? Now why would a cat want to marry a cloud? The cat said, because you must surely be the best thing in the whole wide world, for you are the most powerful thing of all. Oh, you are wrong, answered the cloud. The wind can blow me away with one puff. The cat put his nose in the air once more and set off in search of the wind. When the cat found the wind. He called out, wind, I want to marry you. The wind answered, marry me? Now why would a cat want to marry the wind? The cat said, because you are surely the very best thing in the whole wide world. Nothing can stand up to you. Oh, you are wrong, said the wind. I cannot blow away the tall oak tree. The cat put his nose in the, up in the air and this time set off in search of the tall oak tree. When cat found the oak tree, he called out, Oak tree, I want to marry you. The tree answered, Marry me? Why on earth would a cat want to marry a tree? The cat said, because you are truly the very best thing in the whole wide world. Nothing can destroy you. You are foolish, said the oak tree. Fire can destroy me in an instant. The silly cat put his nose in the air and set off in search of fire. When the cat finally found fire, he said, fire, I want to marry you. Marry me? Why would a cat want to marry fire? 
the cat answered, because you are surely must be the very best thing in the whole wide world. Nothing is safe against you. Oh, you are mistaken, said fire. The rain can put out my flames. The proud white, white cat put his nose up in the air and set off in search of rain. When it began to rain, the cat looked up in the sky and said, Rain, I want to marry you. Rain called out, Marry me? Now why would a cat want to marry the rain? The cat answered, Because you are surely the best thing in the whole wide world. You are wrong, said Rain. The house is safe against me. The cat put his nose up in the air again and set off in search of the house. At the very first house the cat came upon, he called out, House, I want to marry you. The house looked down at the cat and said, Marry me? Why would a cat ever, ever want to marry a house? The cat replied, because you must be the very best thing in the whole wide world. Nothing can hurt you. Oh, you are mistaken, said the house. The mouse in my walls and under my floor can hurt me. Once more, the white cat put his nose up in the air and set off in search of mouse. There is mouse. The cat soon found Mouse and said, Mouse, I want to marry you. The mouse looked up in surprise and asked, Marry me? Why would a cat want to marry a small mouse? The cat answered, Because you are the best thing in the whole wide world. You are stronger than anything and you are not afraid of anything. Before the mouse had a chance to reply, a large orange cat pounced on it and gulped it down. The white cat looked at the orange cat and the orange cat looked at the white cat. And it was then that the proud white cat realized that the very best thing in the world, the whole wide world, for him was another cat. And the two cats married that very day and lived happily ever after. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's rhyme time and our letter of the day is C. Now remember, candles and cake and cupcake and Cat and chicken and caterpillar and cow, they all start with the letter C. Well, I'm so glad you were able to join us today. And for parents, a tip for today is whenever you read, discuss new words. Like, let's say you come across the word palace. Just, you ask the kids, who do you think lives in a palace? And you know, the more you read to your child, the more words you will expose him or her to. And the vocabulary is going to expand and it's going to help them in school immensely. Uh, not too long ago, my grandson had uh, said a new word. Absolutely. And I thought, where did you learn that? And it's so much fun to see the vocabulary increase. So I hope you had fun today and I, I hope you leave a comment and say hello. I'd love to hear from you. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. I'm so glad you were able to join us. And next time, our letter of the day is A, B, C, D. We're going to do D next time. Until then, be safe and read. Read as much as you can. Read 
Read at least 15, 20 minutes a day. Make it a habit, a good habit. Bye, everyone. Oh, and don't forget, right below, there's a link for Art with Miss Choate. Do a craft project with her, and it's so much fun. Bye. Don't forget to leave a comment and do the art craft. And if you, if you want, post the art. I'd love to see what you've done. Bye.